Good, ev good evening, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick as we come together this evening to wind down our day and to take it easy and prepare ourselves for a restful sleep. If you'd please join me this evening. Today we are celebrating the festival day of Priscilla and her husband Aquila. And so I'll tell you a little bit more about who these special uh, Christians are and how they're related how they are related to St. Paul. Let us put ourselves in God's holy presence as we begin our service. We begin on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 127. The, the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 11, I believe, no, Psalm 13 this evening, found on page 597. Page 597, Psalm 13, can also be found in your Holy Scriptures as well. Please join me as we read this together. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have perplexity in my mind and grief in my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Look upon me and answer me, O Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in depth. Lest your enemy say, I have prevailed over him, and my foes rejoice, I have fallen. But I put my trust in your mercy. My heart in joy is joyful because of your saving help. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt with me in richly. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scriptures continue this evening with a passage from Acts of the Apostles. This is chapter 18, verses, a portion of uh, verses 1 through 4, 18 through 21, and 24 through 28. After Paul, uh, after this, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he, he found a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla. Because Claudius had ordered all Jews to leave Rome, Paul went to see them, and because he was the same trade, he stayed with them, and they worked together. By trade they were tent makers. Every Sabbath, he would argue in the synagogue and would try to convince Jews and Greeks. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed from, for Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. At Chentria, he had his hair cut, and there he went under a toe, went under a vow, excuse me. When they reached Ephesus, he left them there, and first he himself went into the synagogue and had a discussion with the Jews. 
When, he had, he, when they had asked him to stay longer, he declined. But on taking leave of them, he said, I will return to you if God wills. Then he set sail for Ephesus. Now there, was a, a, there came to Ephesus a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria. He was the eloquent man, well-versed in the scriptures. He had been instructed on the, on the way of the Lord, and he spoke with burning enthusiasm and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began, he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, and when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained the way of God to him more accurately. And then, and when he wished to cross over to Achaia, the believers encouraged him and wrote that to the disciples to welcome him. On his arrival, he greatly helped those who, with the, through the grace, became believers. For he powerfully refuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Messiah is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So as we listen to these passages, uh, you get a little bit of a glimpse of who Aquila and Priscilla are. What's really known, he's, they're actually mentioned six times throughout the New Testament. And Paul got greatly accustomed to them and he was really infatuated with the fact that they knew their scripture, they were passionate, and they really loved to let people know how they felt about the Jesus that they knew. As we found out in this passage from uh, Acts of the Apostles, we're hearing about the, the people of the way they, before they were called Christians. We don't have a, any actual data about uh, Priscilla and Aquila being baptized either by Paul, but we have a pretty good idea that Paul was, uh, because of his passion as well, helped be a part of their um, conversion experience. So they also lived around the year 50 AD. Um, and so we do know that uh, of those six times we mentioned in here in the passages, their devout passion to spread the gospel message was incredible. And so as we go to bed tonight, you know, it's with that kind of passion. I know for lots of Episcopalians, it's not usually that's their big thing, but uh, evangelism or to reach out and let people know that they're loved. But I think what is a part of the Episcopal faith is that we are in a, an emotional church. We are in passion church. We love to be hospitable. Uh, we love to have meals together. And so this pandemic has put a crimp on lots of that being hospitable and being social with each other. As we go to bed tonight, I know you can take comfort tonight to know that God is with us just as he was with Priscilla and Aquila uh, in their married life, but also in their passion to spread joy in the world and hope. Amen. Let us continue our Compline night prayer on page 132 page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together, my sisters and brothers, let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. This is our colic prayer for this evening. God of grace and might, who gave your servants Aquila and Priscilla gifts of zeal and eloquence to make known to the truth of the gospel, raise up, we pray, in every country, heralds of the, of, and evangelists 
of your kingdom, so that the world may know the immeasurable riches of your of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And so we continue. Visit this place, Lord God. Drive far from it all the snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us offer our prayers as people of God this evening. I'd like to invite you to pray with me. If you turn to page uh, 387 in your Book of Common Prayer, let us use Prayers of the People, Form 3, page 387. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace that all that we do in will to do your will and all that we undertake that our works may find favor in your sight have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble we especially pray for those who are struggling because of the coronavirus because of unemployment seeking work trying to reopen their job their businesses we pray for all doctors and nurses for all healthcare workers and nursing homes and assisted living. We give thanks, Lord, for all those who are our first responders, our police, fire people. We pray thank you, Lord, for all of our government workers. We pray, we pray as well for those who are struggling because of anxiety or depression or the social anxiety of being away from others or their friends, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest and let light perpetually shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. I especially like to pray this evening, Lord, and for all of our, our friends and loved ones. Um, we would like to pray for Bill Baxter, who's celebrating a birthday a few days ago. I uh, would like to give thanks for him, especially in all those who are celebrating a birthday. I'd also like to remember uh, Sarah and Nicholas Holland, who celebrated their birthday over the weekend. And I pray for Heather and Jason Coltharp, who are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. And I hope they're having a, 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 something special this evening for themselves. And for anyone else who is celebrating their relationships and their wedding anniversary, we give thanks, Lord Jesus, for them. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these prayers that we have spoken, and we ask you to hear them and answer them according to your will. We know there are lots of things that are on our minds, and unrest is going on around us, and tensions in our world, especially because of this pandemic. Be with us, Lord, and help us find a cure, a vaccine. Help us to be neighborly and to be like at to be like Priscilla and Aquila, to be a loving presence in, the, in each other's lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. So we continue now on page 136, or excuse me, uh, page 134, page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping 
that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ, bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and always. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful and restful sleep. Join me again tomorrow at noon uh, and uh, again here at, for Compline Night Prayer at 9 p.m. Have a wonderful and restful sleep. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Good day and good night.